Nearly a week ago, the nation was stunned to watch the horrific footage of Tyree Nichols in Memphis. And yesterday, the vice president attended his funeral. And today, the president and vice president are meeting with members of the Black Caucus, the Congressional Black Caucus, as there are calls for policing reform and legislation. Fox News correspondent Lauren Blanchard has more in Washington. The Congressional Black Caucus and the White House huddling over what to do about police reform just a day after the funeral for Tyree Nichols, the young father beaten by Memphis police. Real and lasting change at the state and local levels will require Congress to act. Almost three years ago, the nation was horrified by the death of George Floyd. House Democrats put forward a police reform bill, but bipartisan talks fell apart in the Senate. Senator Tim Scott has been pushing for reform for years. This is my 10th speech on policing in America in eight years. President Biden used his executive powers to pass limited reforms and maintains he does not support defunding the police. But after footage showed the brutality of police with Nichols, there are calls to revive the bill and negotiations. The calls for reform are loud, but so is public opinion, which shows 80 percent of Americans are concerned about crime rates. And a number of police officers are retiring or leaving their jobs, citing a lack of support. We do need to have a real, genuine, authentic, and bipartisan conversation about dealing with police reform in America and figuring out how do we strengthen the relationship between the police and the community. The mother and stepfather of Tyree Nichols will attend the State of the Union on Tuesday. The White House has not said how much of the president's speech will be on policing reform. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.